Hey guys, welcome to The Fitness Mission. I'm Stephanie and today I'm filming with my husband, Jim, and we are doing a 30 minute cardio and strength hit class. Now all of the exercises will be 40 seconds worth of work with 20 seconds break and I'll show you what move comes up next in a 20 second break. All you need is a medium set of dumbbells and a mat. Don't forget to grab a water and a sweat towel and click subscribe as this channel is in support of Active for Good. Our first whole set is the warm up so we can get right into it. Let's do this. All right, so I'm gonna show you our first warm up move, and after that, you'll always learn what's coming up next in that 20 second break. So, we're gonna go ahead and take it down into a plank right here. So, make sure your back is flat. We're gonna sit it back into a down dog, pushing the heels back. Good. Then we're popping it back into plank and bringing the knee to the opposite elbow. So try that out. Now sit it back in the down dog, push your heels back, bring it to plank, and then bring the knee to the other elbow. So that's gonna go for 40 seconds. That's our first one. You've got this. I'm gonna set our timer. Let's do this. I love this because it really gets a stretched out whole body plank warm up. So go ahead and get ready to pop it out into plank and begin. All right, so go ahead, sit it back into down dog, bring it up plank, elbow to knee. Down dog, elbow to knee. Good, and you're, opposite, you're doing the opposite elbow to the opposite knee, alternating every time. Good, down dog, plank, cross it. Make sure you're breathing. Nice job, Jim. Couple more seconds. And relax it. Nice job, go ahead and take it up. We're gonna bring up the heart rate. So we're gonna do four butt kicks, where we're going one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna squat, step together, squat, step together. And you're low impact, just do your hands like this. All right, get ready and begin. One, two, three, four. Squat and squat. One, two, three, four. So get those heels back to the butt. One, two, three, four. Squat, keep that chest forward. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Squat and squat. One, two, three, four. Last set. Nice job. All right, awesome. So our next warm up, we're gonna warm up the upper body. Go ahead and grab yourself a set of weights. We're going to put something, like we're grabbing it from the floor, chest stays forward, and twist and place up on the shelf. All right, go ahead and begin. So chest is forward, twist and place on the shelf. Good, get that booty back, and try not to bend your back. If you do this, you're gonna hurt your lower back. We wanna stick our butt back so that we get that nice, uh, protected core, and the twists, spinal twists, are a great way to warm up the body. We're gonna stay on this side the whole time, and when we do our second set, we'll go the other direction. Sit it back. And twist in place. And relax it, nice job. You can set those weights down. Our next move, we've got six ankle digs. Your level one, you're right here. Your level two, you're taking it up for power. And then we're gonna lunge, twist it back. You're gonna step back in a lunge, twist towards that bent knee, and step back in the other lunge, twist towards the bent knee. Go ahead and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Step it back, twist. Step it back, twist. One, two, three, four, five, six. Step it back, twist. Step it back, twist. Good. Feel those hip flexors opening. 
That's the beauty of doing a warm up right into our first set. Last set of lunges. Nice job. All right, so we're going back to our second set, down dog, and then that elbow to knee plank. So go ahead, you can hang out here. If you want to, you can give me a little quad stretch while we're waiting. Good. All right, get ready to pop it up and begin. Sit it back, down dog. Good, elbow to knee, cross it. Down dog, elbow to knee. Down dog, plank, elbow to knee. Nice job, keep it going. Really good at a cross. Feel that side angle stretch as we twist our obliques. And relax it, nice job. Take it up slowly. All right, again, four butt kicks. They can be here, low impact, or all the way up. Side step squat, side step squat. Go ahead and loosen up those arms while we're waiting. Good. All right, and begin butt kicks for four. One, two, three, four. Side and side. One, two, three, four. Side and side. Keep that chest forward. Doing amazing. One, two, three, four. Squat. Knees not over the toes. And relax it. All right, we're gonna place that item on the shelf, but we're going the opposite direction this time. So go ahead and grab those weights. And again, chest stays forward. We're putting them down. Don't bend over. And then twist it back. Your booty's got to come back to do this workout. All right, here we go. Sit it back, booty back. And twist in place, final twist. Try to keep your chest towards the wall in front of you. Make sure you're breathing. And relax it, set those weights down. Go ahead and give me a couple hamstring alternating stretches. Good, stepping it out. All right, we've got those six ankle digs, your low impact or your high impact, and those lunge twists. You always twist towards the bent knee. Begin, one, two, three, four, five, six. Twist to the bent knee, and twist to the bent knee. One, two, three, four, five, six. Almost there, we get 40 second water break after this. And relax it, awesome job, way to warm it up. You guys feeling warm? I'm feeling warm. Grab yourself a sip of water, you've got this. All right. So, our first move in the next set, we're gonna do great fine feet. Meaning quick in, quick out. When you get to the side, you can either do two squats or you can make them jump squats. Like that, that's whichever one you want. So quick feet and then two jump squats. Go ahead and begin. Jump squats or level one, just a regular squat. 
Quick feet, quick feet, quick feet. Little moves of the feet. That's working on speed and agility. All right, here's your last jumps. And relax it, nice job. All right, go ahead and grab your weights. And we're gonna do a V-angled bicep. So your arms are out right here, and they're gonna go out in a V, and come right back in. All right, you got about four seconds to relax. You ready to do this? Ready. All right, here we go. Make sure that the abs are engaged, shoulders are down and back. Those grapevines got my heart rate up. Sure. <laughs> Keep it coming. Hang in there, about five more seconds. And relax it. Nice job, set those weights down. All right, this next one, we are doing six high knees. You're level one, you're just bringing them up here. If you're doing level two, it's six high knees. And then we're gonna do ski hop, ski hop, like a Super Mario hop. If you don't want high impact, just lift up high. All right, begin, six high knees. Super Mario hop. And alternate legs, I don't care which leg you're on. Good, get them up, get them up. Good. Power up towards the ceiling, power up. Last one. Awesome. Oh boy, all right, this next one's hard. Grab yourself a set of weights. We are gonna do an elevator pull. So it's going out in front of us, moving through the elevator. Then we're gonna give ourselves a break and do squeezes backwards, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Begin your elevator. So it just one shifts down, stack it on top. All right, squeeze those arms back. Four, three, Two, one, elevator. Squeeze them back. Four, three, two, elevator. All right, squeeze them back. All right, last elevator. And relax it, beautiful job. I think that's one of the hardest ones. All right, set those weights aside. We're going back into that quick feet, and then you have your low impact option of two squats, or your high impact where we hop. All right, let's do this, begin. All right. Keep it coming. Fifteen more seconds. And relax it. Good. All right, grab your weights. We're going into that V angle. Hmm. All right. Feet are about shoulder width apart. Shoulders are down and back, abs are engaged. Remember, they're right up here, going out and in. Get ready and begin. Keep breathing.
Exhale on the pop out. Inhale, bring it in. 10 more seconds. And relax it, set those weights down. All right, so we've got our six high knees. Remember, you're level one. You're not doing double time. Level two, you're getting them all the way up. And then those ski hops where we pop it up towards the ceiling. So get ready. Right. Let's do it. Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Power up. Power up. One, two. Power up. Power up. Power up. Power up. Good. Almost there. Nice job, nice job. All right, elevator pull and squeeze back. And then we get a 40 second water break. So you have earned that, that's for sure. All right, let's do this. So remember, we're moving our elevator, then we're gonna squeeze it back. Begin. All right, and squeeze, squeeze. All right, squeeze those shoulder blades. We'll give them four squeezes. Three, four, elevator. 40 second water break after this. All right, squeeze it out. I think this is one of the hardest ones today. Elevator. Almost there, and relax it. Grab yourself a sip of water. You're doing amazing. How you doing, Jim? Excellent. Woo. All right. Keep breathing, stretch anything that feels tight. Had to get me a sweat towel, that's a good thing. That is a good thing. All right, so our next move, we're doing a front kick and then stepping it back into a lunge. Your kick can be low and then lunge or your kick can be high. We're staying on the same leg the whole time. You got about four seconds to relax. All right, and begin. Front kick, lunge. Front kick, lunge. Knee not over the toe. Halfway there. If you start to tip over, that's okay. That's your stabilizers and your core working. It's important to work those muscles. And relax it. All right, this next exercise we only need one weight for. So, we're gonna put the arms out, straight out in front of us, and we're gonna drive that car straight out in front of us. So, 40 seconds, if you need to take a break, you can pop it in, but then pop it right back out. All right, begin. All right, slow it down. Slow it the other way. Slow, speed it up. Slow it down. So the other way, slow, speed it up. Like I said, if you need to take a break, take your break. 10 seconds. Hang in there and relax it. Oh boy, nice job. All right, so we're gonna take it down into plank. We need both of our weights. And we are going to do your level one is step ups. Your level two is full hops. Hop, hop, and then we're gonna row and row. Go ahead and begin. 
So, hop, hop, row, and row. Hop, hop, row, and row. Hop, remember you can do step outs too. Ten more seconds. And relax it. Nice job, awesome, awesome job. All right, take it up slowly. Woo. So we need both weights now. We're gonna go into an airplane deadlift. So we're on our right leg, balance down, and come up. Go ahead and begin. Now if this makes you uncomfortable or your hands are too tight, you can do a regular deadlift right here. That's an option. Focus, this is all about balance. It's not about going high. It's not about going fast. Knees are just, the knee is just slightly bent when you go down. Good. Focus on your core. Focus on your balance. Really feel those hamstrings working and relax it. All right, we've got that front kick lunge on the other side. So, it's gonna be that left kick. You can kick it high or you can kick it low. Kick and then lunge it back. You ready for this? All right, go ahead and begin. Kick, lunge it back. Remember, that kick can be low, bam. This is another balance move. This is my balance set if you haven't figured it out. I'm a speech therapist and I work at an outpatient clinic with lots of PTs and balance is so important after surgery, to prevent falls. So we gotta work on that. And relax it, nice job, nice job. All right, we're gonna drive that car. Woo. How you feeling, Jim? Feeling good. All right. <laughs> it's Memorial weekend, so we're going out to the lake house. I'm probably gonna film out there, so be prepared for some pretty views. All right, arms straight out and twist it. The last time I filmed on a dock, the whole dock was shaking the whole time. I had no idea. I filmed this awesome workout, beautiful scenery. Had to ditch the whole thing because the whole camera was bouncing. All right, slow it down. Slow it down. All right, speed it up. I'm gonna take my break for a second. All right. Seven more seconds, we got this. And relax it, nice job. All right, taking it down to the mat. We need our weights though. I'm gonna do the low impact, Jim's gonna do the high impact. So low impact, we step it out, we step, good. And then do our two rows, high impact, you do the jump. Get ready and begin. You gotta know your body and decide what's right for you at the right time. I, felt, I filmed a class right before this and I knew my body said, take it to the level one. Know your body. And relax it. Nice job, we got those airplane deadlifts. All right, then we get a 40 second break. Then we only have one more set. And that set's a little shorter. So, we're standing on our left leg this time. Find your balance. Find your balance and come up. Go ahead and begin. 
And again, if you don't like that, two feet planted and do it a regular traditional deadlift. Slow and controlled. You're over halfway there. Then we get that 40 second water break. And relax it, set those weights down. Nice job. So this next circuit, we've only got three exercises, so only six total because we go through them twice. And it's all focused on the core. One of them's core and cardio, but all right. So our first one, who loves plank jacks? Who doesn't love plank jacks, right? But I like to make things fun, mix it up a little bit. So we're gonna be in our plank jack, but we're gonna do a plank jack flat, take it down to an army, plank jack army, and take it up. If this is too high impact, I want you to just hold a plank on your knees right here. Get ready and begin. So plank jack, take it down to your arms, plank jack, take it up, plank jack, take it down, plank jack, up. You can do this as fast or slow as you want. Hang in there and relax it. Beautiful job. All right, we're taking it down to the mat. Going to be doing some traditional crunches. So we're laying down. All right, feet are about shoulder width apart. We're going to do 10 regular crunches here, 10 here, 10 here, and just keep doing 10s the whole 40 seconds. Go ahead and begin. 10, 9, 8, Five, four, three, two, one to 90 degrees. 10. You don't have to go with me. Three, two, one, straight up. 10. You do your 10 as fast or slow as you want. Keep about a fist space between the chin and your chest. Elbows are just slightly supporting the head. All right, take it back down to 90. And relax it. Good job, good job. All right, taking it up. Our third exercise in this set are out and ins. So we're in a plank right here, and you're going out, out, in, in. Flat back. If that's too hard, take it to a knee plank. Just hold the knees. Get ready, and begin. So out, out, in, in. Doesn't matter which leg you lead with. Keep that back flat, no butts up, no butts down. Remember, you're level one, you're just staying right here. And relax it. All right, we're staying down for our plank jack, that army crawl plank jack. Woo. All right, so again, you're right here. You do a plank jack, then you take it down and do a plank jack. We're almost through this workout, hang in there. All right, and begin. Plank jack, plank jack, plank jack, plank jack. And your low impact, Jim's gonna keep doing the high impact. Your low impact, you're just holding it right here, holding that modified plank. And relax it. 
Two more exercises. Help me straighten up this mat. For those of you who like straightness, my apologies. All right, so again, 10, 90, straight up, 90. Doing those sets of 10 with a good crunch. Give your head a little bit of support and begin. 10 regular crunches. All right, 10 at the 90 degree angle. All right, 10 straight up in the air. Ten at the ninety. And relax it. All right, those out and ins are our last workout before we stretch that out. Do not turn off your TV after we do the last one. Make sure you stay and stretch. All right. So those out, out, in, ins. Make sure that back is flat. Level one, you're just holding a knee plank. And go ahead and begin. Out, out, in, in. Neck is in line with the spine. Head is looking down towards the mat. Five seconds. And relax it. Sit it back in child's pose. You did amazing. All right. All right, go ahead. Take it out to a modified cobra right here. Jim, give him a shout out right here. <laughs> All right, go ahead and bring one leg back. Stretching through. You can lay it all the way flat. I'm pretty sweaty for that, so I'm staying up. <sighs> Normally, I turn down our air conditioning. When we film, I forgot to do that, which is why I'm sweating like crazy. All right, other leg. <sighs> Good, press it up on all fours. Inhale the lower back up. Good, exhale, reverse it, cat cow. Inhale it up, exhale, reverse. Good, go ahead and uh, flip it over onto your back. All right, we're gonna bring one leg up, flexed foot. Good, stretch out that leg, flexed. Good, go ahead and point it. Rotate in one direction, rotate in the other direction. Good, cross that leg over, push it on the bent knee. Feel that glute stretch. Tuck it in for hip flexor. Good. All right, bringing the other leg up, flexed foot. Grabbing on the calf area. Go ahead and point that toe. Flex it. Rotate in one direction. And rotate in the other direction. Cross that leg over, pushing on the bent knee. Ooh, that feels good. All right, go ahead and straighten the other leg out, tuck it in for hip flexor. All right, bring both knees up and slowly rock it all the way up. Good, take it into a butterfly. Don't worry, we're almost done. Hang in there through the stretch. We are doing this, for those of you who are new to our channel, um, we are doing this because God basically, he told me to, right? There's no other way to explain it. Um, we are doing this because it was something the Lord placed on my heart to do this channel, but that he basically told me, hey, one day this is going to be monetized. Go ahead and bring those feet out. Uh, reach up high and bring it down. And once it's monetized, all the money from this channel is going to go to an organization called Active for Good, which rewards people's physical activity by donating packets of food to starving children. One more. Reach it up and reach it down. And you can be, I host a team on the Active for Good app every month. 
So it rewards any exercise you do, whether it's a workout here or a workout somewhere else. Bring one arm across. Um, biking, running, whatever you like to do. Um, and the app will donate packets of food to starving children when you log your workouts. But we want to be able to financially back them big time by how much you exercise. So make sure, bring it back, that you um, subscribe, share this, and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave Jim a comment because he's such a trooper. He never knows. I'm like, I was like, honey, come film with me. Um, and he produces them. So thank you guys for being here. Have a wonderful day. God bless. Great job, baby.